Well, welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show, a big shakeup at the top of the tree when it comes to executives of the Ford Motor Companies. Mark Fields, who I thought was the best successor when Alan Mulally actually decided to step down. Alan Mulally was not really the car guy's car guy, came from outside of the automobile industry, but Mark Fields was definitely a major league car guy and I thought was going to be the best fit for the CEO position in the Ford Motor Companies. Well, over the past several months, with slacking stock sales along with a board of directors who was not quite that happy with Mr. Field's performance, Mr. Field has since stepped down as CEO of Ford. Up, coming up to become CEO is Jim Hackett, 62 years old, from the state of Michigan. Mr. Hackett has actually been the head of Ford Mobility over the past several months, along with the CEO of Steelcase, and he has been interim athletic director at the University of Michigan over the past several months as well. Mr. Hackett has got a big road to hoe to actually come into this company as somewhat of an outsider, even though he's been on the Ford Motor Company's board of directors over the past several years. So it's going to be interesting to see what Mr. Hackett may have in his sleeves for the Ford Motor Company moving forward. Next up on the list, we talked about the polls winner for the 101st running of the Indianapolis 500, Mr. Scott Dixon. Well, after winning the poll and doing all his media duties, that being all the media outlets from all over the planet, it got late, late in the evening. In fact, it was around 9 o'clock in the evening when all his media duties were done. When he met up with longtime partner and teammate Dario Franchitti, the pair of these actually teaming up for eight IndyCar championships. Well, the two of them, along with Scott Dixon's wife, we're actually looking for a place to get a bite to eat late in the evening, and their three favorite restaurants around the Indianapolis area were closing at 10 p.m., it being 9 p.m. at the time. So they, the three of them, decided to make a run for the border. You know the fast food establishment I'm talking about in this particular situation. While sitting in the drive through lane, wanting to grab a quick bite to eat, head back to the Indianapolis 500 Motor Speedway's infield, they were actually held up by gunpoint by a pair of very young teenagers. That was a hugely frightening situation. Luckily, nobody was injured in the situation. The police were actually called, and the two youths were actually captured later in the evening. Hopefully, the trio got back with some tasty goodies and a heck of a story to tell. Hopefully, this will not affect Mr. Dixon's run at his second-ever Indy 500 win to get up there around Dario Franchitti's three IndyCar, or I should say Indianapolis 500 wins. A heck of a tale and could have been an extremely terrible situation for the Pole Center and two big-time IndyCar stars. Next up on the list, Demon is back in the news, and Demon's in the news for pricing, yes. The SRT Hellcat Demon is actually somewhat of a steal. When you look at the entry price for a Hellcat Challenger, that being a starting price of $65,000, which is a lot of money, but the new Demon only being twenty grand over the top with all the exciting goodings that this vehicle has to offer, I think it's a pretty doggone good deal. Starting price comes in $84,995 US dollars, which is another $1,095 for the destination fee. Now, as far as the option list, the biggest price option list is the leather interior, which will cost you a fair amount of money, but not a huge amount. There are 15 different exterior color options, and obviously some of the biggest options on this car are something that we've already talked about, that being the passenger seat, which will cost you a dollar if you so desire, the rear seat, which will cost you another dollar if you so desire, and then the one that I was the most interested in, which was the crate. The crate with all the goodies, including the skinny tires, the jack, the torque wrench, the impact wrench, all this goody stuff which is supposedly worth over $6,000, 
is all yours if you're one of the lucky 3,300 folks to own a brand new demon at just a dollar. Yes, you heard it right. That is a whopper good deal. So if you're one of the lucky 3,300 that own one of these machines and you don't buy this, you're crazy. Now, if you do buy this and decide you don't want it, I'll take it off your hands for the low, low price of $18. Yes, you heard it right. I will gladly pay you $18 and drive to wherever in North America you reside and drag that thing home very, very happily. Now, here's the trick, too. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this car over the next several months. Supposedly, production's going to start in the next couple of months with third quarter, actually, deliveries actually happening in the back part of 2017. So, well, it'll be interesting to see how many dealerships try to gouge some folks, and hopefully it doesn't happen too terribly bad. But I have to say, $85,000 for that demon is a pretty doggone good deal. Last up on the list, some extremely sad news coming out of Italy. This is Owensboro, Kentucky, home of Nikki Hayden, the 35-year-old 2006 MotoGP world champion, narrowly beating out Valentino Rossi in that 2006 championship season, has since moved on to World Superbikes. Sadly, Mr. Hayden was actually cycling on May 17th of 2017 when he was hit by a car. Now, the injuries from this particular incident were pretty massive, including a lot of head trauma. Mr. Hayden had been into a medically induced coma over the past several days, and then sadly, May 22nd of 2017, Mr. Hayden was succumbed to his injuries the 35-year-old Owensboro, Kentucky native had all of his family at his side at that particular incident. All of us here at Motor Cars Enthusiasts sends our deepest condolences and prayers to the Hayden family and friends who are going through a terribly tragic situation right now. One of the bright and shining lights on the world stage for an American in the world stage of motorsports. It's sad to see this guy snuffed out at the young age of 35 years old. A very, very sad time indeed for the motorcycle world and for the American world. A bright shining star snuffed out way too soon. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.